everyone, welcome to your workout. We're gonna start with some leg exercises from a seated position. You can do this from your sofa or you can use your yoga mat, whatever you feel comfortable using. You can also continue with the rest of the exercises doing them on your mat or a sofa or chair. You don't have to move a whole lot. This is just uh, some leg lifting and then we'll do some upper body strengthening uh, with light weights or you can just use zero weights at all. <laughs> so go ahead and take your position on your mat or your sofa or your bed. And um, we're gonna start with some seated leg lifts. You're, you're in a nice 90 degree or L shape angle with your body and you can support yourself with your hands behind you and you're taking one leg and lowering and lift it, lowering and lifting. So you can point and flex up and down up and down, you know, coordinate the pointing and flexing. That'll uh, change up the muscle muscle group that you're focusing on. So you just want to get into lowering and lifting, working the quads, the adductors and the abductor muscles. Or you could just do straight up and down with a pointed heel. Several of these, you'll start to feel the fatigue in that muscle inner thigh area right here all right and then we're gonna keep it keep it up don't let it set down because you want to tr try to fatigue it then we're gonna lower and lift out to the side so you're making a an L shape and swinging your leg again you can use your hands for support or if you don't want to support yourself just keep your hands out in front and just do some swinging legs i'm going in fast motion here but you can slow it down and just get into maybe like a minute of each of these exercises or you know 30 between 30 seconds and 60 seconds of these Ooh, you feel a burn and then bring it in to rest it, but don't set it down. You're just taking some of the pressure off. Um, well, you can cradle the leg if you need a break. Cradle the leg in your arm and give yourself a little stretch, pull back into it. You're gonna deepen the stretch in that glute muscle. We're gonna keep on with the exercises. So now you're gonna take your leg and cross it over the other leg. So the foot is crossing and pulling out to the other side. Again, support yourself with your arms. I will turn this way. So you're just swinging it out. Readjust myself so you can see. Now you're working on the outside of those thigh muscles getting into the adductors and abductors. And that was about 60, 60 seconds. Bring it in, hug it for a little stretch. You take some of the pressure off. You can also set it down and you get into a, a single leg lotus. So your leg is bent this way and laying across the opposite leg. So a single leg lotus, or you lift it up and do a variation of a pigeon stretch. Then we're gonna do a single leg bicycle. Same leg, same fatigue out of this leg. Pushing the heel and circling. Let's do about 30 seconds forward and 30 seconds in reverse. And hold and then go in reverse. I think it's better, hey Bob, what's up buddy? I think it's better if you flex the heel. You're gonna start feeling that fatigue. Hi Bubba, I have lotion on my arms. That's why he wants to lick. Keep going with the leg. I need my balance, Bob. Just go ahead and lick my hands, I don't care. <laughs> I 
I'm leaning back a little bit more with this one and then bring it in and give it a little stretch again. So you're gonna focus on stretching out that muscle after almost after each exercise. And let's go ahead and open and close the knee from this seated position. So you're just getting a little extra stretch and mobility here. Again, you could do this from your sofa, a bed, or your mat, wherever you feel comfortable. Just do a few of these. Let's go right into the other leg. So lowering and lifting this leg. So start with the pointing and flexing of the toes. You can take it up high or keep it a little bit lower. About 10 more seconds on this side for this, this exercise only. And that was about um, 60 seconds there. So we're gonna make our little L shape. Again, taking your leg up and swinging it out. We'll cross over to the other side for the next one. Keep going, about 10 more seconds. And that was about 60. Now bring your leg in and you're gonna hold it and cradle it. This is the variation of the pigeon stretch or you can go into... Oh. <laughs> Guys, it's people that you know. It's literally people that you know, relax. Go, 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 go say hello. My husband and my brother are talking and the dogs are going crazy. I'm like, you just saw them like three seconds ago. Okay, so now we're going to do um, the leg crossing over to the other side. So you're sitting and you're swinging the leg across the body. 60 seconds of these. You're feeling them by now. You're getting fatigued. Sweating. Ten more seconds. And that was about sixty. Again, bring it in for a rest, cradle it in your arm. Um, you can lean away or even pick up the leg if you wanna get into a, a deeper stretch, lean back, however you're gonna feel, or get into your lotus stretch right there. And then let's do single leg bicycles. So we're gonna do 30 seconds of forward and 30 seconds back. And that is 30 of those. Swing it back. And 29 and 30. Go ahead and butterfly, stretch. Put your feet together. Sit up tall if you want to put your hands behind you. You're increasing the stretch. You can lean forward. Uh, sit up a little bit taller. Just stretch, stretch, stretch. A couple of seconds, flap the wings. And then let's do some open chest 
exercises before um, before we run out of time. So open chest, you're gonna lean your body forward. I'm pressing my heels into the mat and I'm just hinging and doing some open arm, open chest exercises. Then we're going to push out from this, we're going to do a rowing exercise. So you're doing a pushing and pulling motion, just like what you would do at the gym, keeping your elbows up high. You can also bend at the knees, that makes it a little bit more comfortable. Again, you can do these on your bed, nothing to it. You're just gonna feel the muscle fatigue. That was about 30 of those. And come back. Now let's do some underhanded, so my palms are facing up, so an underhanded rowing exercise, giving it a push. And the lean back, I'm gonna put my feet back on the mat so I don't slide everywhere. This is also pumping up the biceps a little bit. Okay, then we're gonna hold here, just keeping these dead weights in your hand. Just hold here with a slight bend, activating the biceps. 30 seconds here. Breathe. <laughs> breathe. And then I'm gonna switch my weights out and we're gonna do some bicep curls just from that position, that same slight bend. Let's try to go up to 60 with these and then we'll finish it off. of those and that's all we're gonna have time for today thank you so much for joining me have a great day bye